Hello, everyone. I'm sure, or have you heard about the word meta verse? So this word refers to meta means beyond and the universe. So it's sort of beyond the universe, right? So this word typically refers to a communal. So it's like a community where people share, right? So it's a communal and interactive cyberspace. And what is in the cyberspace? There are contents, there are commerce and networking. So it's a cyberspace where content, commerce and networking exist, right? So it's an interactive cyberspace and it's a communal cyberspace as well. So we have had a cultural shift to online. So before the COVID-19 crisis, we did have these platforms, but we never thought about that we could get on Zoom or other things like Google Meets or Teams where we could interact with people and have meetings we would usually have to go to a place and to open up a meeting or to have a conference. Whereas now this metaverse transcends time and space. So what the fashion or gaming or luxurious brand companies are now doing is they're trying to partner with metaverse platforms to expand their market in this virtual world. Metaverse consists of four parts. Number one is virtual world. Number two, the augmented reality AR. And three, the mirror worlds. And number four, life logging, which I think a lot of people are doing in the Meta now, which used to be Facebook, Meta or Instagrams. So don't think that Metaverse is something totally new. It's what you or I have been doing so far. But when we go into this interactive and communal cyberspace, we do have to think about some things such as trademarked infringements, right? So we've got to have, we're going we're gonna to encounter legal issues. And also I think number two, we need to think about ethics. So it's going to have some, we got to have some ethic rules where we do need some privacy and the words that we converse or we should not be able to exchange personal information. So I think we, before we get into this metaverse, we need to think about these trademark infringements where it could lead to legal issues as well as ethic rules. And also, I don't think metaverse should be our whole real world. So it shouldn't shift everything, but it should just be a mean. So it's like a sort of a tool so that you can expand your boundaries and your market. So next time I will talk about some merits of metaverse vices versus some disadvantages of metaverse. And I think we need to see a balance in between. Thank you.